Hey guys, welcome to day 25. So today's Bible passage is taken from Isaiah chapter 28 verses 1 through 29. So chapters 28 through 33 are talking about the destruction of the tribe of Ephraim and the sinful state that the drunkards of Ephraim are currently in. So in verse 1, it says, Woe to the crown of pride of the drunkards of Ephraim, and to the fading flower of his glorious beauty. So this crown of pride is trying to show us how our drunkenness or our want for this good life is being lured by our pride. And this fading flower, it might not seem as beautiful because when we're in this intoxicated state, we don't see things for what it truly is. So when it says the fading flower of his glorious beauty, we get caught up in all these worldly matters and what's going around what's going on around us that we forget to see how god's love is just so beautiful and so some things that we may get caught up in are social media or even certain relationships so for social media we might see someone who has better things or they think oh they have a better life than me and we get so just devoted and wanting that and we forget how amazing our things or things that we have are because we our judgment is just so clouded so we we ask why why does god let us believe in this false reality in verse 5 it says in that day the lord of hopes will be for a crown of glory and a deed of beauty to the remnant of his people for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate when we see this false reality of our sins we tend to become discouraged or even depressed but even if we feel like we've lost hope in ourselves, we have to remember that God always has hope in us. And the way for us to be able to receive hope through him is by listening to his messages and see what God truly has planned for us. And no one said it was going to be easy because it will be hard to see what God's message truly is. And it will be hard because we might not understand when God's trying to send you a message. But we have to understand that God won't stop until we have listened and figured out what his plan is for us. In verse 21, it shows us that there's no point in trying to put different obstacles in between our relationship with God. Because God will find a way to overcome all of these things obstacles that you've put so that we can have a relationship with him and lastly in verse 29 it says the lord of hosts who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance it reminds us of the perfect time and wisdom of god's work in our lives god never puts anything in our path that we aren't able to overcome so this drunkenness that we said that is in our lives that's what god has put in our lives that so that we can overcome in order to understand how pure and gracious his love truly is for us so i hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your week